Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Amir Sandhu and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Exercise Rehabilitation at Bangor University UK. Now in today's video I want to talk to you about the health benefits of fasting, particularly intermittent fasting. So let's get straight into it. So what actually is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is when you actually cycle between long periods of not eating anything at all, so the fast itself, uh, with periods where you are able to eat. Now, a very common approach to, to fasting is to, to do the 16 to 8 method, which is where you fast for 16 hours, uh, and then you have an eight hour window where you can eat, uh, and this is where you get really serious calorie restriction. Now, I will talk about some other approaches that you can use to uh, do intermittent fasting towards the end of the video. Now the purpose of intermittent fasting is to cause uh, calorie loss, is to cause a calorie deficit so you start to lose body weight and hopefully body fat as well. Now it's prescribed, intermittent fasting or fasting is prescribed in most of the major world religions um, and at the moment it's the month of Ramadan and lots of Muslims around the world are fasting and their fast, and it's one that I'm actually doing at the moment while I'm presenting this video, is very uh, consistent with the 16 to 8 uh, method. Now intermittent fasting can be practiced regularly on at least two days per week throughout the year so it doesn't have to be confined to specific months. Uh, you can do it for health reasons uh, at any time of the year. So let's get into the health benefits. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So the health benefits of fasting, one of the first things that it does is it improves the integrity of our cells, okay? Of all of the billions of cells that we have uh, in, inside our body that make up our tissues, um, it's very important that the cell structure and function remains optimum in order that we are able to carry out normal bodily functions and prevent ourselves from getting uh, various diseases like cancer, uh, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. Now if we look in the image here, uh, what we can actually see uh, in, in this image here is, is, is a cell, okay? It's an individual cell and all of the organelles that are contained within the cell. Now the cell is always under a metabolic activity, there's always things going on within the cell, but when you, when you fast then the scientific research shows that there's a number of changes that happen uh, in our hormones. So one of the things that happens is we have a reduction in insulin levels and we have an increase in human growth hormone okay so those are some of the initial hormonal changes that happen and what they do is they tend to favor oxidation of fat so they promote fat oxidation which helps to, to you to lose weight out of the adipocytes which are the fat cells in the body okay so the, in terms of what's happening in the cell those hormonal changes uh, are very important but there's also a process called autophagy okay now autophagy basically means eating of the cell self eating okay and what the cells do is they recycle some of this content uh, within them so the, the the content within the cell is broken down uh, it's recycled and it's used to regenerate new cells uh, and the idea is that when we go through this process of autophagy we prevent ourselves from getting dysfunctional cells which contribute to disease. Now studies have shown that in, in uh, individuals that are fasting there is evidence of um, uh, neurons in the brain being regenerated so old neurons are being uh, broken down and new neurons are being regenerated which will improve uh, cognition and brain health and, and these are things cognition particularly are, which are related to the benefits of intermittent fasting. Now there's also expression of proteins and various genes that protect against metabolic stress within the cell. Okay, so these are some of the changes that are happening in the structure and the function of the cell. Now, moving forward then, um Another health benefit of intermittent fasting is a reduction in visceral fat, which is the fat around our organs, and there's an approximately 8% reduction in the fat around the organs, and this is the most harmful type of fat to have, and you also have a general reduction in weight. Now, how does this actually happen? Again, I'm getting ahead of ourselves here, is we create with intermittent fasting a state of negative energy balance. Now, what we can see in this uh, picture here is we can actually see these various seesaws and, and I'll explain uh, this bottom seesaw here. This is the state of negative energy balance. Now essentially if you can limit the amount of calories that you're consuming, so therefore by, by fasting you're reducing the calories that you're consuming, but you still carry on your day-to-day -day activities, so you're going to work, 
work, you're doing your household chores, some people may even be exercising whilst they're fasting, you're going to be increasing your calorie expenditure, you're going to be using up more calories than you are taking in. That's going to cause a negative energy balance and it's going to make you lose weight. Okay. Uh, conversely, positive energy balance is when we consume more calories than we uh, expend and then we, we tend to gain weight uh, and we basically get fatter. So intermittent fasting is a, is a process that encourages a negative energy balance. And what's important is that studies have shown that when you perform intermittent fasting, you lose weight, but not necessarily lean body mass. So the muscle that we have, the, the protein, the amino acids, they do not necessarily get broken down. However, However, there is a caveat to that and the caveat is that some scientific studies do show that you, you have a reduction in lean body mass uh, when you do intermittent fasting. So we, we still need to do more scientific research to understand exactly what's going on. But if you look at it from a, a physiologic perspective, there is an increase in the resting metabolic rate when you, intermit, when you do intermittent fasting by approximately 14%. So our basic metabol metabolic rate, which contributes to calorie expenditure, increases by 14%. And we know know from our physiologic understanding that resting metabolic rate generally tends to increase when we have more lean body mass or preserved lean body mass. So that would tend to suggest that intermittent fasting may not necessarily have a detrimental effect on uh, protein or, or muscle uh, makeup of the body and you may not necessarily lose that with intermittent fasting. Now importantly you also have a reduction in waist circumference when you, when you fast. And I talked about it earlier, I talked about visceral fat. This is the harmful fat which is concentrated around our abdominal organs. And, and the, the fat can release chemicals which can get into the circulation of the liver and start attacking the blood vessels el elsewhere in the body. Now, when you have a reduction in waist circumference, it generally tends to signal a reduction in visceral fat. And again, this has been shown as, a, as one of the positive effects of, uh, of intermittent fasting. Now, again, um, my presentation is getting a little bit ahead of myself, but uh, effects are enhanced in overweight and obese individuals. Uh, so this is something, if you are overweight and obese to start with, then intermittent fasting is actually going to be more beneficial for you. Um, but of course, if you have normal body weight, then intermittent fasting is still likely to help you maintain a healthy body weight as well.